Yo, Wagwan, it's that guy, not Locks, not Nation. I got a video today here talking about the infamous Polika Polonika, that infamous one dread that a lot of people seem to neglect into existence. Now, the Polika Polonika comes into play from ancient European folklore, but I'm not to say that that is exactly where these originate from because there's lots of societies and cultures from ancient Asia um, to ancient Africa that have been styling their hair this way. But essentially it is one big neglected dread, not for the faint hearted, definitely takes a lot of confidence and just a lot of dedication to grow one of these off. And it's something out of the ordinary to me it's as fascinating as can be and definitely definitely the biggest oddity in the dreadlock world so make sure you stay tuned and stay subscribed this is not nation and definitely have an interesting video for you guys today so without further ado let's go Looking to do a dreadlock related video today and I'm just hopping right into this one because you know what's on my mind is Plika Polonika. Plika Polonikas are on my mind because we know we don't have to necessarily say that these came from Poland but they are related to European folklore. What's crazy about having Plika Polonikas is that this is essentially the most extreme and the most neglected you could ever get yourself into. I mean, you've seen this video on my channel before. It's one of my top videos Not Nation has put out. And I'm just looking at these now to see which pictures of the Plika I didn't look at already. If you haven't seen this video, I'll show you the video here of what is going on now. As you can see, those are the images that I've used. Why were half these photos taken out of Walmart? Because people don't know how to approach somebody and ask them for their photo up front. And there's lots of photos like this one that we haven't actually discussed yet here on the, the channel. So, you know, this being a shorter plica, if I've ever seen one, and this more so just an encrustation. Something like a crab shell. What's crazy is that people actually hold on to in museums plicas from thousands of years ago to show how they did grow their dreadlock. And I say dreadlock because literally they only had one dreadlock on their head. For the most part, with people grow in these plicas. It would be pretty heavy wearing that, I would imagine. Here's another plica that's been in museum isolation over the years. Um, this one looking like it came off of somebody with straight hair. You can see one band of straight hair right there. I mean, these are plicas that have been way out of control that essentially have just taken over. Not so much a plica, but a very interesting way of holding your dreadlocks down. It's more like the mullet, the dreadlock mullet. And he's balding. That's cr that is crazy confidence right there. Another photo of a dreadlock plica somewhere in Europe being displayed at a museum. And what I like about this freeform is that this scarring that happens is not so much a scar like with interlocks, but it's more of a dimple. Of a, it's more of a folding that happens, as you can see in these these little crevices that come to play here. I mean, this lady's plica could definitely use some work. It looks like she had just put her hair in a ponytail and left it. This could be a very representative plica from Rapunzel, but this is not a real plica. This kid had a plica and I had covered him a few years ago on the YouTube channel. So definitely the youngest plica I've ever seen, but technically this kid not really a plica because he has more than one dread there. This was a pretty gross video. This plica got cut in half off of somebody's head. This was a ponytail just left and never taken out. A uh, close up of what a plica could start out like. It's basically just a knotted part of your head that doesn't become separated with any sort of, I mean, it's, it's neglect, right? You're just neglecting your hair at this point. 
literally not doing nothing to it for that. This gotta be the most legendary shot of a Plika Palnika on the internet. Right here, this one looking like a big platypus tongue. This guy's locks here looking like a real Plika as well. Uh, looks like he's got one at the back and then two on each side. Real remarkable. This one looking crazy, it's starting to fall forward. But I was just saying that it's a rarity to really see these in general, so I can understand why there's not much of them on the internet. See if anything else pops up real quick. We got some plica going on here with some alopecia going on at the front of this lady's hair. Here's a pretty serious plica going down. We've seen this in the last video. Uh, some people call them beaver tail dreadlocks, and there might actually be a lot more of this here under beaver tail dreadlocks because to be honest they do look like the beaver tail platypus tongue from pokemon you know like this one seen in the last video but definitely too long it's dragging on the floor lady here's a pretty serious plica right here damn that is crazy this dude's got a big ass square plica i mean look at his jacket you can tell he's even been wearing his jacket for years on end because the plica has been rubbing on the back of his stuff so long crazy big ass beaver tail here this is just like right down to her heels how many years is that to achieve something like that seems to be a lot of them under the beaver tail dreadlock style i like this one a lot because it shows you how his two locks looked like before they even joined up somebody lost their plica in the store Giant dread I cut off a woman's head today at work. <laughs> There's a video of somebody shaving off a plica. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to react to this on another day. This lady rocking the plica with big rubber bands, maybe even be ties to keep her hair together. Seems like India is a big place for this to take place. Very intriguing the way people can grow their hair so long like this, unbothered. It's pretty styling. Pretty freaking styling, I must say. It takes a lot of commitment and a lot of dedication to do this. Unfortunately, some of these looking like they're pretty grubby and could use a deep cleanse that I don't even think would really save. Like, that's just crazy. To have them dragging around on the floor, I think it's time to do something about it. Wrap them up with anything. I wouldn't want dreads dragging on the floor like this all day long. Technically, these ones not a plica, so... But definitely very interesting. This one looking very interesting too. A big up plica on the back of his head there. So I mean, the plica. If you guys know anybody with a plica, hit me up in the comments. Maybe we can get some interviews of somebody with one. Um, and I feel like for the future reference of people taking photos of other people's plicas, Please ask them first if we can take their photo. I don't think we need to see so many people sneaking around taking photos of people's plicas from behind without them really knowing anymore. Take the time to say hi and understand their story with the situation. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna let this video finish here. This is Not Locks, Not Nation. I appreciate you guys stopping by here every single day. If you haven't already, check the links down below. I got merch for sale. We got headbands, tams, swim caps, t-shirts, bandanas, you name it. All listed in the links down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Which was your favorite part of the video today? Timestamp that in the comments. And uh, I'll be sure to review. But until next time, peace out. One love, stay happy and natty, and I'll see you guys around. I'm gone. Adios.